mysteries of creation are there. Up in the sky. Up in the sky. The moon and the planets are there. And new hopes for knowledge and peace are there. Everyone, welcome to your inner journey weather forecast for the week of June 6th through June 12th, 2021. Your inner journey weather forecast, we utilize archetypal astrology to understand the energies in the collective and how they might show up in our psychedelic journeys this week and in other inward uh, explorations and spiritual practices this week. So this week is a week in which we have a solar eclipse, and that's a very notable phenomenon. You can see an archetypal explorer that aside from the solar eclipse, we have this week Mercury square Neptune, Sun conjunct Mercury and Sun square Neptune. And what that is showing is that Mercury, the Sun are together in a square to Neptune. So it's Mercury square Neptune, Sun conjunct Mercury and Sun square Neptune. So that means that the Sun and Mercury are together both square to Neptune. And at, on Thursday, the moon joins that position and the north node is there as well, which creates an eclipse, a solar eclipse, which is a big new moon, a big new moon. So the energies this week in this combination are worth understanding so that we can understand how to navigate them because they can be a bit tricky. So with a eclipse, anytime you have a new moon or a full moon, if you're talking about psychedelic journeys, you're talking about meditation intensives, inward explorations. When we have a full moon, we tend to have a feeling of whatever is the inward exploration that the fruit of that inward exploration is, be is beginning to bear itself. It's beginning to rise into our perception and into our understanding of what at this point in our life is meant to come to fruition, is meant to come to our uh, a realization. During new moons, we tend to feel, if we engage in inward explorations at that time, psychedelic journeys, meditation intensive, inward looking, new moon tends to feel that we have maybe discovered terrain inside, but what it means, what the realization is, what the kind of fruiting of that insight is may not be clear yet. So there's a sense of a kind of entering into a new realm, but not necessarily, it, the energy is not always as trending towards a feeling of completion as with full moons. And then eclipses, solar eclipses and lunar eclipses are like larger versions of that. So a solar eclipse is a larger version of a new moon. It's like going into a new terrain in which the next six months will be spent discovering what it's about. A lunar eclipse is like a larger full moon in which we kind of come to a fruition and an understanding of a larger arc of maybe the past six months or so of, of what you know the terrain we have been traveling. We get a bit of a view of that terrain, understanding a perceptual kind of culmination of of insight there and a sense of a kind of some sort of conclusion about what it all means. And so when we have a, a solar eclipse, there can be a kind of a mushiness, a sense of not necessarily clear a sense that maybe a, the, the ground is soft and some seeds have been planted, but we don't, we don't necessarily have the insights yet. We don't have the conclusions. And so with a, with a solar eclipse, we should know to expect that. It's a good time to plant seeds just in general in our lives, seeds of projects, seeds of intentions, seeds of states of mind, um, seeds of grounded energy. And then in psychedelic journeys, it's we just want to be conscious that this is a kind of an opening of a portal, not necessarily a summation of the whole journey and understanding from kind of like a larger perspective. And when you have that in combination with Mercury going retrograde and the Mercury and the solar eclipse are both square Neptune, that brings in kind of more similar energy in the sense that a Mercury retrograde is reflective, it's reassessing, it's rethinking. It's not necessarily already, it's, it's not like the insight and the conclusion is ready made. It's like, we're actually going back and reassessing. So we have to be comfortable with not knowing 
we have to be comfortable with knowing that this is a period of kind of sinking back and 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 reviewing knowing that the the conclusions will come the insights will come but now is the time to kind of let everything recompute that's the mercury retrograde and then the sun and mercury and the moon squared to neptune also brings in a kind of a cloudiness a mistiness that's mercury that's neptune's nature is that amorphous nature it kind of it, it favors intuition it favors things that are not necessarily concrete manifestations, but more intuitive impressions. And so with that, it's a similar quality, a similar energy of kind of, you know, if the mind is wanting to have the insight and have it be kind of concrete, now is probably not the right time to do that type of, of exploration. If we're willing to kind of be sensitive, be open, and, and let our intuition guide us and have a little bit of, have some surrender and some, you know, ability to not to be comfortable in the in-between between you know insight and conclusion between kind of certainty and and going a little bit more with like a dissolving and and an opening to what is to come even if we don't know what what is to come will be so it's a powerful week powerful week indeed we got other things like the uranus the saturn uranus square larger looming things in the background which I'll talk about more and I've talked about in previous videos, all making for a dynamic time. The eclipses are always kind of like, they're always times of, of, of they're kind of like pinpoint times where the larger archetypal palette comes into more crisp de definition because of their, their intensity. So very interesting week. I wish you excellent navigating here of these watery ways of Neptune and you know, dreams, dreams are a great place to go to, to have the intuition show up, you know, sometimes roads that lead somewhere, we haven't arrived there yet. That's like, a, or maybe a road leading back, we haven't arrived there yet, Mercury retrograde leading back a new, you know, we haven't arrived there yet. It's a it's a new, it's a uh, lunar, it's sorry, it's a solar eclipse, it's a new seed. So things like that. So pay, pay attention to your dreams with Neptune, bodies of water show up in dreams water in different ways so and neptune itself favors dreams because that's the realm of impressions so let let yourself be guided know that this is more of an opening rather than a conclusion and yeah it's it's it actually can be a conclusion as a solar eclipse can be a conclusion but it's more not a conclusion in the intellectual sense like i have come to a conclusion it's more of a of a of a question mark what is to grow what is to fruit what is to come Okay, so all my love to you out there in your path of growth as a human being and as a soul who is the universe incarnate. Okay, thank you so much and join me next week. And if you have any questions, write them in the comments section. Thank you so much.